Institute of Aquaculture at the University of Stirling has a global reputation as a leading international centre of expertise for aquaculture research and education. As such, it attracts postgraduate students from all around the world. The Institute brings together world-class researchers from a variety of disciplines to address the challenges faced as aquaculture grows to meet global demand. Research focuses on critical questions such as how to develop strategies for sustainable aquaculture and aquatic food security for both rural and urban communities in the contexts of advancing technology, globalising trade and uneven economic development. Core areas of research cover breeding, genetic selection and genomics, health and welfare, nutrition, production systems, environments, markets, and social and economic impacts in aquatic animals. The Institute has grown steadily since its formation in 1971 and now has over 180 staff and postgraduate students and an annual operating budget of approximately £10 million. The Institute is located on one of the most scenic and inspiring campuses in Europe, set in 300 acres at the foot of the Ockel Hills. My thoughts on Stirling Uni, I think it's one of the most beautiful campuses I've ever seen in my life. You're right in the centre of the Highlands, beautiful scenery and a lot of nature around you. The university itself is a really nice campus site. We have many opportunities, you have different sports clubs, you have the fitness studio, you have a, a swimming pool, you also have a, a theatre and a cinema and a lock, which is really beautiful. In addition to extensive on-campus facilities, the Institute has separate off-site large-scale freshwater and marine research systems on the west coast of Scotland and collaborates extensively with most other research organisations in the UK, Europe and globally. There are around 90 postgraduate students at any one time coming from all over the world, divided approximately equally between one-year taught master's programmes and four-year research-based doctoral studies creating a vibrant and multicultural environment. The Institute also runs undergraduate programmes in aquaculture and marine biology and offers short, continuing professional development courses for people wishing to extend their knowledge in specialist areas. Studying aquaculture at the University of Stirling can be challenging, but also great fun, as programmes are intensive and engaging with plenty of collaborative exercise that help consolidate knowledge build confidence and foster interpersonal and communication skills that are highly valued by employers. The most challenging aspect for me was definitely the, uh, the amount of work and just the intensity. Uh, it's done in four week blocks uh, each module, so it's very much you focus on um, each subject very intensively for that four weeks. Um, the university helps uh, you deal with that quite well by sort of um, leading you into it gently in the first couple of weeks and then it really starts to ramp up. The aim is to help all students to realise their full potential and ensure that they are equipped with the knowledge and expertise needed to succeed in their chosen career path. Stirling is positioned first in Scotland and third in the UK for graduate employability with 97% of students in work or further study within six months of graduating. After this program, I, I'm going to be working uh, with, with marine hatcheries here in Scotland. Uh, and then when my visa runs out, I'm heading, heading to, um, to the US to, to do some work with startup companies um, on the West Coast. Throughout the top programs, there are many opportunities to visit the local industry and meet professionals involved in a wide range of commercial and regulatory roles. Many MSc students undertake their three-month research project either with or in partnership with an aquaculture-leading sector company, sometimes overseas. Top programmes include an MSc in Sustainable Aquaculture, which aims to give a broad introduction to the principles of aquaculture and what drives the viability of aquatic production systems, including environment, nutrition, reproduction, genetics, disease, engineering, and economics. MSc programmes in aquatic veterinary studies and aquatic pathobiology, with the former specifically aimed at students with a veterinary science qualification, and the latter for those with other biological backgrounds who are looking to develop specialist expertise in aquatic animal diseases. Just a better experience than I could have possibly imagined. 
Um, I loved how each topic was scheduled into two weeks. Um, so, you know, if you didn't like something, you were only doing it for two weeks, but uh, if you were really into something, you didn't have to distract yourself with other topics. You could really dive down into the details. Mm -hmm.